Hey guys, what's going on? This is a uh, business Q&A and uh, kind of happened organically on the forum here at uh, Underground Strength Coach and I'm um, just doing some work and chilling out with my dog here on a rainy day and I wanted to answer this question because uh, a couple things. Number one, it's uh, tough to see it, but uh, it's an unfortunate truth and the question was essentially one of our uh, Inner Circle members, he's a uh, coach at a Globo gym and uh, he feels he's pretty skilled, pretty good um, practitioner. Uh, the ability to get people results, he could do it. Yet there's another guy in the gym who's uh, a bit more talkative, a bit more outgoing, but not very good uh, technician. He's not really a good coach. He can't really deliver results. He's a little bit dishonest. He'll say one thing and do another. Um, he doesn't keep all his appointments. And we're wondering, or he's wondering, how can this guy, who's evidently not better, be the guy who gets lots of uh, clients? Um, and I'm going to go into a couple things here. I'm going to bounce around a little bit so hopefully you guys can stay with me. Number one, um, the truth behind it is yes, you must be great at marketing, not just good at marketing. Marketing comes through many avenues. It's not just um, your website or flyers that you post, uh, but it's how people feel when they talk to you. A lot of people, um, as you mentioned, they're a little bit intimidated by you because you look like you're military or former military, you look like you're serious, and uh, people are scared. Listen, there are black belts <laughs> who uh, I train in jiu-jitsu, which is not easy to achieve. They tell me that other brown belts and black belts at their school are afraid to come to the underground. They're afraid they're going to get their, their asses kicked in a workout. And it's like, how can a black belt have fear of a tough workout? It's, you know, uh, boggles my mind. And there are other gyms that have more clients than I do. But of course, I don't train adults, I don't train general population, I train athletes. So that minimizes the amount of uh, members that you're going to get compared to general population. It's just a, a larger radius of people. But I've seen that people that are not really that good at training, uh, people like going there because it's not that hard. It's not that challenging. They're not constantly pushed. They're just there and they're happy to just show up and exercise and uh, to them, that's good enough, knowing that they are gaining greater health. People are afraid of excellence, is what I'm saying. They fear it. They're so much happier with good enough. They don't get pushed out of their comfort zone. If everybody wanted to be awesome, um, you know, just this world would be, it just wouldn't work. There would be all these alpha males, alpha females, and uh, nobody below them. And that's not how it works. So you have to just decide a couple of things. Number one, how can I get better at marketing? How can I be more inviting? So uh, why don't you hold a free seminar, hold a free workout once a month. If you're at the Globo Gym, <clears throat> make sure you're collecting uh, names and email addresses and let them know that uh, every two weeks or every week you will pick one person out of that hat to get a free um, three... PT session with you, three sessions or one session. And uh, while they do that, you add them to your email list. If you don't have an email newsletter, get one. One of the easiest ways is AWeber, A W E B E R, AWeber.com. Have an email newsletter. Number two, um, get people in the door. And then once they're in the door, then you start training them your way. Showcase the results you get. So if you're in a Globo gym, there's got to be some kind of a bulletin board or a, or a board where you could um, thumbtack photos, action photos. Be kind of uh, top of mind awareness for all these people. So you're going to have email addresses collecting. You're going to post photos. You're going to hold a free workout or a free seminar once a month at that gym. You can do specialty seminars, all men, all women and uh, put a smile on your face. Have fun while you're training. There's nothing wrong with having fun and being intense. But on the flip side, it's okay to be the person that pursues and stands up for excellence. For example, I always tell coaches, I go, 
you know, you might have more clients than me, more members than me, but that does not make the richer man. What makes the man rich is how many lives he's changing, how much you're impacting other people out in this world. So I stand strong behind the fact that I, I stand for something with the underground strength gym. Excellence. No half reps. No, you know, skipping workouts and being okay with that. Stand for something or fall for anything. This one guy that's in your gym, don't let your energy be wasted on him. Let him do his thing. There are plenty of uh, pieces of pie. And uh, you must have that abundance mentality rather than a scarcity mentality. There will be many people in that gym that would like to train with you. They probably just don't know how to train with you. So put that smile on your face. Collect emails. Have one of those email boxes where people just put a, um, I don't know what they're called, like a drop box or a name collection box where they're uh, dropping their name and email. Even their cell phone, you could put them on a text message alert. And there's a lot of simple things you could do in that gym to market yourself. Start posting up on Instagram and put videos as well on Facebook and photos on Facebook. So you're now using all of these different places and different methods of marketing to get in front of people showcasing what you do. And above all else, you must showcase your results and showcase people having fun. So when you're sharing stuff on Instagram and Facebook, make sure it's a lot of success stories that inspires people. Once you start sharing those things, um, you will start grabbing more attention and basically people will trust you more and feel like they could reach out to you. Right now, they may not know that they can reach out to you. So you can simply start saying, feel free to connect with me at the ABC gym or shoot me an email through my website. So really give them specific instructions on what to do. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Um, I've got two locations. I'm aware of the other gyms around, but I'm also aware that we are the ones that are always pushing for excellence and being fucking awesome at stuff. So I understand I have that competitive nature inside of me, but never do I feel like they've taken from me and I can't you know, get those things or those people. Um, it feels good. To me, at least, I know I'm the top dog. I know people are watching me, and when they try to be like me, it messes up their business because you can only be yourself. Um, I've mentioned on the blog, not on the blog, on the uh, comments, on the forum, what books I want you to read, Dan Kennedy's No BS Time Management and his No BS Wealth Attraction. That is a huge, huge book right there. Those two are really going to be critical for you. And subscribe to the undergroundbizjournal.com. So I hope this helps you change your mindset, change your actions, be more strategic, and you will start kicking ass while doing exactly what you want to do. You don't have to compromise on what you're about or what you stand for, okay? Keep living the code, guys.